was a cold night on a dark street in San Francisco. Down beneath Turk Murphy Earthquake Magoon's jazz club was the magic cellar, just south of North Beach in San Francisco. Jack Finney, author, walks into the back close-up gallery. The young magician, Peter Samuelson, has the audacity to show him something he never expected to see. A card trick. Based on his classic, The Invasion of the Body Snatchers. And now, they're here for you. You know, there's a very close relationship between science fiction and magic. They both rely very heavily on your sense of fantasy, the flights of your imagination. And there is a classic science fiction movie called The Invasion of the Body Snatchers. You know it? 1956, Kevin McCarthy, Dana Winter. It's a story about aliens that descend from outer space. They start to emit these large, oh, what would you call them? Oh, pods, yes, pod-like creatures, six feet long that split open and people start coming out of them. You can always tell when someone's been taken over because they are totally emotionless. For some strange reason, this is set in California. I use kings for my little California town. Some of them are asleep, they're face down. Some of them are awake, they're face up. And this, this is the pod creature. You notice the leafy shoots? You can almost imagine the pods beginning to grow. So we have our little California town, our pod creature, and our story. It's a soft, sultry California evening when suddenly, out of the darkness, <laughs> Spaceship lands. The pod creature emerges from the craft and the first person he comes upon is a derelict lying in the gutter. He roughs him up a bit and in a moment he's gone. Somebody sees this happen, he runs to get the cops. Before he gets half a block away they tap him on the shoulder and he's gone. Sometimes they attack in pairs. If they attack in pairs and you're not looking for them, immediately it's uh, gone, gone, gone. Sometimes they attack in pairs when you are looking. If you are looking when they attack, it's still all over for you because immediately you've got one, two, three. There's the Scarlet O'Hara. You can tell it's Scarlet. She's gone with the wind. <laughs> all these movies has a drifter. He doesn't really belong in the film. He's just sort of passing through town. But as he passes through town, they get him. The hero and heroine, true blue and loyal up until the last minute, went in a little cave with a river running through it. You remember the river and the cave? They are suddenly gone, gone, gone. And that is the invasion of the body snatchers. No happy Hollywood ending in this one. Here we win.